Welcome back everyone to another episode taking a look at some of the blueprints on the Steam Workshop for Planet Zoo. Our first piece was made by Duct Tape Forum. They call this Desert Flora Pack. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $46,000. Thank you so much Duct Tape Forum for bringing this really nice desert flora pack to the Steam Workshop. I think this will help out a lot of people in their zoo. Our next two pieces were made by Leaf. They call this first one Monkey Modular Building Set. You can bring this into your zoo for $28,000. And then we also have the Ball Toss Carnival Game, and you can bring that into your zoo for right around 1000 Thank you so much, Lee, for posting on the Steam Workshop. This monkey modular building set should come in handy for a lot of people. Our next three pieces were made by Mermaid Tears. They call this first one Giraffe and Baby Pixel Art. Bring this into your zoo for 30000 And then we have the Polar Bear and Baby Pixel Art. Bring that into your zoo for 32000 And then we have the Red Panda Pixel Art. You bring that into your zoo for right around 5000 Thank you so much, Mermaid Tears, for making these very, very nice pixel art murals for our zoos. Our next piece was made by Rutsnuk Nupka. They call this huge, gigantic, tropical waterfall. You could bring this into your zoo for right around $118,000. Thank you so much for posting this beautiful, gigantic tropical waterfall on the Steam Workshop. What a beautiful job you've done here. Our next piece was made by Praying Vixen. They called this Classical Market 18th Century. You can bring this into your zoo for right around 55000 Thank you so much, Praying Vixen, for posting this very nice 18th century marketplace on the Steam Workshop. Our next piece was made by Mighty Fury. They call this Space Invaders, and you can bring them into your zoo for right around $12,000. Thank you so much, Mighty Fury, for posting these very fun face invaders on the Steam Workshop. Our next two pieces were made by Chiola. They call this first one Ruined Lemur Temple. You can bring this into your zoo for 9000 And then we have the large giant panda enclosure for right around 9000 
Thank you so much, Chiola, for posting on the Steam Workshop. You've done some great jobs here. Our next piece was made by Gussie. They call this Platform 9 and 3 quarters Zoo Entrance. You can bring this into your zoo for right around 33000 Thank you so much, Gussie, for posting on the Steam Workshop and bringing a little bit of Harry Potter to the Planet Zoo. Our next piece was made by Andre. They call this a scenery nature piece. Flexi color. You can bring this into your zoo for right around 3000 Thank you so much, Andrea, for posting this very nice flower centerpiece in the Steam Workshop. Our next piece was made by Adam Up, and they call this a koala island. You can bring this into your zoo for 47000 Thank you so much, Adam Up, for posting this very, very nice koala habitat on the Steam Workshop. What a wonderful job you've done. We have two pieces here made by Elizabeth. They call this first one Australian Input to Zoo. You can bring that into your zoo for right around 14000 And then for right around 2000, we have a camera piece. Thank you so much, Elizabeth, for posting on the Steam Workshop, bringing us this very nice entrance and camera. Next, we have a nine hole crazy golf course. And this was made by Tommy the Calculator. And you can bring this into your zoo for right around 45,000. What a great piece you've made here, Tommy the Calculator. Thank you so much for sharing this nine hole golf course with us. Our next piece was made by Rohana Ardius. They call this animal balloons and you can bring them into your zoo for right around 1,000. Thank you so much, Rohana Ardius, for bringing us these very fun balloons. Our next two pieces were made by Ingi123. They called this first one Borborgen Africa or Archway Africa. 
and then we have Morgan, Sud America or Archway, South America. And both of these you can bring in for just a little under 2000 Thank you so much, Inge, for posting these two entryways. The lighting on them is done wonderful. Our next piece is made by Leo Museum. They call this the West Era Tunnel, and you can bring that into your Sioux for Red around 12000 Thank you so much, Leo Museum, for posting on the STEAM workshop and bringing us the Westeria walkway. Our next piece was made by the Elm Street. They call this tortoise habitat. You can bring it into your zoo for right around 5.5 thousand. Thank you so much, The Elm Street, for posting on the Steam Workshop and bringing us this very lovely tortoise habitat. I love the archway that you've done here. Our next piece was made by Nalakori, and they call this Tropical Water Cover Set. You can bring them all into your zoo for right around $4,000. Thank you so much for bringing these tropical water cover sets to the STEAM workshops in Alicori. They're very, very nice. Our next three pieces were made by Anoi E, and they're all Sky Rim Solitude inspired. This first one we have is called Bits and Pieces and Radiant. You can bring that into your zoo for right around 5,000. And then we have Hall of the Dead. You can bring that into your zoo for right around 3000 And then we have Vic's House and Proud Spire, and you can bring that into for right around 11000 Thank you so much, Aoni E, for posting on the STEAM workshop and bringing a little bit of Skyrim to Planet Zoo. Our next two pieces were made by Mr. Green, and they call this Piranha Plants. You can bring them into your zoo for right around 1000 Thank you so much, Mr. Green, for bringing us some piranha plants into Planet Zoo. Our next piece was made by Dee Dee, and they call this aquarium. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $7,000. It looks just like an aquarium. Thank you so much, DED, for posting and sharing this with us on the STEAM workshop. Our next piece was made by Wave Dode. They call this Elephant Fountain Pass Surround. You can bring it into your zoo for right around $7,000. Thank you so much, Wave Dode, for bringing this really nice pathway to the STEAM workshop. Our next three pieces were made by Lukey. This first one is called Western Town. You can bring this into your zoo for right around 19000 And then we have the train station for 3000 And last but not least, we have Sneaky Pete's. And you can bring that into your zoo for right around 16000 Thank you so much, Lukey, for bringing us a Wild West town to Planet Zoo. Our next piece was made by Mayla Jones. They called this Woodland. Park Zoo, and you can bring this into your zoo for right around 17000 This is a wolf habitat. Thank you so much, Myla Jones, for bringing this very nice wolf habitat to Planet Zoo. Our next piece was made by Ariana Densupra. And they called this Zelda. 
Dorado Town Camel Habitat. You can bring this into your zoo for right around 17000 A very nice camel habitat inspired by Zelda. Thank you so much, Ariana. Our next piece was made by Spin. They call this Bear Hideaway. You can bring it into your zoo for right around $34,000. Very nice hideaway for a bear. Thank you so much, Spin. Our next piece was made by Nimbak and Us. They call this Australian Snake Shack. You can bring this into your zoo for right around 14000 Thank you so much for posting on the Steam Workshop and bringing us this very lovely snake habitat. Our next three pieces were made by ZZ. They call this first one Bottlenose Dolphin. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $275. And then we have the Chin Strap Penguins. You can bring those in for right around $700. And then we have a Musk Ops. You can bring that in for right around $700. ZZ has many animals all posted on his Steam Workshop page. If you're interested in any animals, please go over there and visit. Our next piece is called Terrarium Building of Peter Jets 83, and it was made by Peter Jets 1983. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $22,000. Thank you so much, Peter, for posting on the Steam Workshop and bringing this very lovely terrarium building. A really big thank you to everyone for joining me today. If you haven't left a like yet, please do so. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. We will see you guys all back next week for more blueprints on the Steam Workshop.